and welcome to the next tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking car animation scene using Adobe Illustrator and After Effects. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we're going to need here is we're going to need some assets. So I'm just going to free pick to download this uh, Jeep over here and I'm also going to Vector Easy to download this uh, Vector Background as well. And the final thing that we need to do is to get a sound effect for the car. So I'm using uh, bigsoundbank.com. All the links will be in the description. So once you've downloaded it, what you need to do is you need to open it up into Adobe Illustrator. So here I am in Illustrator and we're going to start with the car or the Jeep first. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that we are deleting all the layers that are not going to be useful for us and that's pretty much everything besides the Jeep. So now if you don't see layers you can always go up to window and then you can go into layers down there. And so now that we've got that, now we need to open up the car layer and what we need to do is we need to separate the things that we are going to animate. So I'm going to add two new layers and I'm going to grab the group of the first tire and put it into that layer and the group of the second tire and put it into that second layer. Now I want those uh, tires to appear on top so I'm going to keep that order and I think that's looking good. Now the final thing that we need to do here as well is we need to go to our artboards. And to, if you don't see artboards, again, you can go to window and then you can go to artboards to get up this uh, menu. And then what we need to do is we need to just click on this icon over here and you can see that the current resolution is 500 by 500. And I'm just going to change that to let's say 1920 by, by 1080. And I'm just going to press OK. And then what I'm going to do finally is I'm just going to scale this up make sure that you hold shift and I'm just going to rotate it just so it looks a little bit just like that. So I'm just using the base as a guide just so that I can rotate it and then I'm just going to put it back into the middle of that document. So that's the Jeep done. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to work on the background layer. And again, we are going to do the same thing. So we're going to delete everything that we do not need. So sometimes you will have to turn the eye on and off just to see what you're doing. So I know that I don't need those three things because they were the shadows. Or you could even click on the items uh, that you uh, want and you can delete them that way if you really wanted to. So I know that I don't need the cars because I've got my own Jeep in there. And the other thing I do want to get rid of is the snowfall. So this one is going to be a little bit hard to see because it's it all looks white in here. So what you can do is you can, you know, uh, click on these icons over here and that will highlight all of them. So I can see there that that was the snow and I can get rid of it. So the next thing that we need to do again is we need to go to artboards and we need to increase the size. So because I want this to be a 4K clip, I'm going to be using 3840 by 2160, but you can also use 1920 by 1080. I'm just going to press OK. Then I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to highlight that and then I'm just going to hold shift and I'm going to make sure that it fits onto my screen nicely, just like that. So the only other problem that we have here is, you know, no matter where you start, there's going to be a you know, bit too many buildings. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in and I'm just going to find where the buildings are. So I'm going to, I can see here that that's all the buildings selected. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get this first group and I'm going to delete that. And now I'm just going to move the whole artwork back over there. So I've just got a clean space just so when I apply the motion tile effect it won't um, kind of distort this image. So once you've done that and you've done your artboards and they're all the right size then all you need to do is save it and take it to After Effects. So now that we're in After Effects the first thing that we need to do is we need to import our files. So all I have to do is just right click over here and go import file. And so when we import our file, we're just going to import it as a composition because we've already set the resolution to 4K or 1920 if you did. All you have to do is just press OK. And so now we've got a composition at the resolution that we want with the background that 
we want as well. So the first thing that we need to do here is we need to animate this. And by the way, my composition settings are 10 seconds. Now, if you want to change that, you can go to composition settings and you can change your resolution. But the duration that I'm keeping is 10 seconds and I've kept the frame rate at 30. So the first effect that we are going to add over here is I'm going to search for the effect called motion tile. And what I'm going to do is with this effect, I'm just going to firstly tick mirror edges and then I'm going to go to the tile center and click on the stopwatch. I'm going to move to the end of the composition and I'm just going to change that value to let's say negative 18,000. So when you go and you preview that back, you can see that now we have this constantly scrolling kind of background. And that's looking pretty good. If you want it to go any faster or slower, all you have to do is just change this value uh, at the end. So now the next thing that we need to do is we need to import the Jeep. And it's again, the same process. We'll just go right click, file import. And again, we can do the same thing. We can just press OK and that will import the composition. So we will work on this composition here and then we'll import it back into our road composition over here. So the first thing that we're going to do here is I'm just going to make sure that I toggle the transparency grid just so I can see the background. And then if I double click in there, I can see that my wheels are on different layers, which is exactly what I need. So we're going to start with the car section first and we're going to do a small animation here. So I'm going to press P on my keyboard for position. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom in a little bit just so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to hit the stopwatch for position. I'm going to move forward, let's say five frames. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring this, let's say up a bit to about 530. And then I'm going to move forward another five frames. And then I'm going to copy and paste that first keyframe and put it over there. So now I'm going to have this slight bounce of the car. So to make this animation look a little bit, you know, more fluid, what I can do is I can go to keyframe assistant, easy ease, and now I've got a nice, you know, bounce, but it kind of stops there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I hold option or alt and click on the stopwatch and I'm going to add an expression. The expression is going to be loop out and then I'm just going to press uh, enter. And so now that will loop out constantly. Now for me, that's moving a bit too fast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold all of that and I'm going to hold um, option on my Mac and I'm just going to drag it out to, let's say about 15 frames. So now I've made that bounce a little bit smaller and that's looking pretty good. So now what I need to do is I need to animate the wheels. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come over here and I'm just going to press R for rotation. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to hold uh, option or alt and click on that little stopwatch and I'm going to write another expression. So time times, let's say negative, 500. Now, if you want the wheels to, to spin faster or slower, you're going to have to change that. Now, the problem that we have here is that now we're rotating around this anchor point. So what we need to do is we need to get the pan behind tool and I'm just going to zoom in and I'm just going to grab that tool and move the pan behind anchor point tool to in the middle of that wheel. So now if you've done that correctly, now the wheel will spin. And if you don't get it right in the middle, it's going to wobble a bit, but that also adds to the animation. So we're going to do the same thing for the other wheel. So grab the pan behind tool. All right. And all we have to do is move the anchor point roughly to where the middle is. And then I'm going to press R for rotation, hold option or alt. And we're going to copy and paste the same thing again. Time times negative 500. And so now if you've done that correctly, now you have a nice moving animation on the car. So the final thing we're going to add here is we're just going to add a small shadow. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to deselect from all the layers. I'm just going to grab a rectangle and I'm just going to draw a bit of a rectangle underneath the car. 
I'm gonna make sure that there's no stroke and just make sure it's got a black fill. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search for the effect which is called Fast Box Blur. And so once I've got that, I'm just gonna increase the blur radius to maybe, I don't know, we'll bring it up to about 45. And all I'm gonna do is I'm just going to put it underneath all the layers and I'm just gonna put it under the car, just underneath the tires, just like that. So now I have a small little shadow there. So once we've done with this, what we need to do is we need to go back to our main composition and then just drag the car Jeep to that composition. So now I've got my car and I'm just going to, you know, put it just over here. Cool, so now we have to animate the car. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just going to press P on my keyboard for position. And so now if I press on the stopwatch over here, I'm just going to hold shift and drag the car off the screen. And then I'm gonna move forward in time to let's say about 15 frames. And then I'm gonna hold shift and then bring the car back to there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move to the last 15 frames and I'm gonna grab that same keyframe and then I'm gonna move to the end of the composition and I'm just going to hold shift and make it disappear off the screen. So now if you preview that, you can see that the car will fly in, does its little driving and then when it gets to the end, it's going to kind of fly out. But we're gonna make the animation look a little bit nicer. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to highlight those keyframes and go to Easy Ease. And then what I'm gonna do with all of them selected, I'm just gonna to go to the graph editor. And so if you don't see this graph editor, make sure that you're in the speed graph. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to bring this graph, maybe something like that. So you can play around with some of these things. So, so it's gonna be a bit snappy at the start and then it will kind of slow down. And then we're gonna have the same kind of thing, but we're gonna make it accelerate from the left to the right. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna bring this side over so that it looks like it goes really fast on the way out. And so I think that's looking pretty good. So there are a few other things that we can add to this. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to add some snow. So now the final thing that we're gonna do is we are going to add some snow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create a new uh, solid and I'm just gonna call it snow. Doesn't matter what color you use, but on that, I'm going to search for an effect which is called CC Particle World. And so now we've got this little particle over here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring it over here so it kind of starts with all the particles uh, happening and we can actually see what's going on. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we are just going to go into grids and guides. I'm just gonna take off all of these things and I'm just gonna increase the birth rate to just something a little bit bigger. So let's say nine, but we are gonna change that uh, a little bit later. So we're gonna come down to our producer settings and we're gonna change the X, Y, and Z. So X is going to be 0 0.75. Uh, the Y is going to be 0 0.400. And the Z is going to be 1.450. And then what I need to do is I need to go to physics and I'm gonna to need to change the animation to a direction axis. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to change the velocity to let's say 0.01 and I'm gonna change the resistance to let's say two. And so now if you preview that, you can see how we have all the particles falling down. Now if you wanna change any of those settings, for example, if you wanna lower the resistance, to let's say 1.5, you can see what actually happens with the particles. So you can play around with some of these settings. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to go into particle and we're gonna change the particle type to let's say faded sphere. And we're gonna change the birth size to let's say 0 0.100. We're gonna change the death size to 0 0.45. And we're gonna change the color to white. So I'm just gonna keep both of them as white. So there the snow is falling pretty nicely down. The next thing that we need to do is we need to go back up to the 
uh, birth rate and the longevity. So the longevity will change to about two and the birth rate will change to about one. And so now we don't have such intense snow. If you want to change the angle or anything like that, you also can in here. So the final thing that we need to do is we just need to create an adjustment layer. And inside the adjustment layer, we are going to search for an effect which is called shadow. So if I look up uh, shadow and highlight, I can put that on there and that pretty much just uh, brings down the colors a little bit and I think that looks uh, a little bit better. As well as another adjustment layer and this one is going to be our final one just to add some noise to the entire composition. And I'm just going to bump that up to about 10 and you can't really see it happening that much but it just kind of ties everything else together. Now the final thing that we need to do is we just need to import our car noise. So again, file import. And so what we are going to do is I'm just going to put that down here and I'm just going to move it around a bit. So if you want to see what you're actually doing, if you open up to the waveform settings, then you can move it to where you need to start it in. And then you can always fade this in, fade this out. So now I've got the car noise playing and I've got the animation and it's ready for exporting. So anyways guys, that's a pretty quick tutorial on how to create a car animation scene using Adobe Illustrator and After Effects. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.